you are listening to the Q Your Business Success podcast, episode 11. You have less than five seconds to attract attention and resonate with your prospective client before they click off your website or stop listening to you speak. In today's episode, I will share three main ways business owners sabotage their ability to attract and convert their best clients. So let's get started. Are you ready to cue your business success? Entrepreneurs and business owners tune into this podcast for top marketing, sales, and leadership strategies to grow and scale your business. Hosted by Michaela Quilici, award-winning international business growth coach and marketing consultant. Since 2010, Michaela has helped hundreds of business owners navigate their business growth on purpose. She has been featured in Canadian Living Magazine, USA Weekly, and Business Innovators. Michaela is also a contributing author in the best-selling book, Conscious Business, and a member of the Forbes Coaches Council. If you want to learn some tactics you can put to work in your business today to get noticed, get clients, and get profitable, listen to this episode. And if you want to move even faster, connect with Michaela directly at MichaelaQuilici.com. Here's Michaela. Your potential customer is looking for you. Consumers are constantly seeking out solutions to their problems or looking to fill their needs. Think of how many needs you fill on a daily basis. Research tells us that the average adult makes approximately 35,000 remotely conscious choices or decisions a day. That's a lot of decisions. Consumers are seeking out information and searching for help. They're looking for somebody like you to help them solve a problem or fulfill a need they have. What will your prospective client find when they look to their trusted sources of information and people of influence in their circle? Will they see you? Are you findable? Are you searchable online? What does your brand convey about who you are? What emotions do your words and your message conjure up in people? Are you resonating with your market as a viable solution for what they think they need? It's your responsibility to understand your customer and present yourself in the right way so that that particular group of people can find you, see you as a potential option, trust your expertise, and then take action to reach out to you. You can't make the impact that you want to make in your business if you're not able to attract and convert your prospects into clients. And whether they see you and are confident that you can help them is completely up to you. You have the power to influence that. Buyers are either compelled or repelled to work with you. It's one or the other. So if you were to objectively take a look at the way you're presenting yourself and your business in the world, your website, your marketing materials, how you talk about your business to others, are you repelling or compelling people? And if you're compelling people, how well are you doing that on a scale of one to five? Is there room for improvement? Could you compel perhaps a steadier stream of clients and not just a random trickle? The secret to business growth is to think like your best customer. And to do that, you need to know them intimately. There are three main ways that business owners sabotage their ability to attract and convert their best clients. Number one is not understanding your role as a salesperson. If you want to succeed in business, you need to learn how to excel at sales. This may be a muscle you personally have to exercise if you don't fancy yourself a salesperson. Having said that, sales skills are inherent in all of us. They simply need to be nurtured. Simply put, selling is the emotion management of the other person, the person you are selling to. The function of selling is to identify people's unique needs and help them achieve their desires. You are the provider of the solution they're seeking, and so your role is to facilitate that buying process. I see many business owners fall into the trap of talking about what they do versus telling their prospects why what they do is important to the needs of that specific person. And this applies to both verbal or written uh, communication. Number two, not understanding how people buy. People buy based on emotional response and justify their decision with logic later. 
as a consumer yourself, you can feel it when you have an emotional connection with something and how that influences your decision to buy. You can also feel it when people are trying to sell you something that you don't need. So position yourself to tap into the emotions of your market and sell your services based on filling the emotional need that they specifically have. If you don't know what that need is, then your first step is to understand your market much better than you do. Your goal is to know your customer inside and out. You should know what keeps them up at night, what they care about, what good looks like when their problem is fixed. Be insatiably curious, ask a lot of questions and listen to the responses. The clues will start to present themselves. Number three, not speaking in your customer's language. You have less than five seconds to attract attention and resonate with your prospective client before they disengage. The majority of business owners make the mistake of talking too much about themselves rather than engaging in a dialogue with their customer. The truth is that nobody cares more about your product or service than you do. What people do care about is how your product or service will help them save them time or money or make their life easier in some way. So get out of your own shoes and put on the shoes of your market. What do they care about? What is important to them? What are they struggling with that you can help with? Remember to use their language when you're reflecting your marketing and communication back to them. The more targeted your message is in answering these specific questions, the more successful your marketing efforts will be. Think of the difference in effectiveness between having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone compared to yelling in a room full of people. Your message should be targeted enough to the point where it sounds like you are talking to one person, your ideal client, your qualified buyer. Don't make the mistake of trying to be everything to everyone because in reality, you'll resonate with nobody by doing that. Just because your product or service is applicable to everyone, that's not the way you should be marketing it and that's not the way you should be selling it. The truth is all successful business owners watch their competition, but listen to their customers. Learning to think like your customer is the secret to your business success. If you want to grow your business with less struggle, I'd love to show you how inside my exclusive online community at cueyourbusinesssuccess.com. We need to know you and you need to know us. So drop by, tell us how we can support your business growth while expanding your network with like-minded business leaders and entrepreneurs. See you in the group. This is Michaela Quilici, your host. Thanks so much for listening today. Let me ask you this. Have you ever felt the remarkable power and energy of a coach when they're laser focused on you and your business? If you're ready to get expert support, I'd love to offer you a complimentary business clarity session with me. During our call, you will create a crystal clear vision for ultimate business success, get focused on the next most powerful step toward your goals, uncover the hidden challenges that could be sabotaging your sales and marketing efforts, and you will leave the session renewed, re-energized, and inspired to finally grow your business faster and easier than ever before. I have very limited spots available, so if you want to take advantage of this offer, I invite you to apply today by going to meetwithmikaela.com.